Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on algebraic fractions. In this video, we'll be looking at simplification of fractions. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. So we start with the first problem. Problem 1. Simplify a gmy over myz b 14mv squared over 21m squared v. So for our solution, we start with the a part of the problem. gmy means g times m times y over m times y times z. Since myz is also expanded as m times y times z. So from here now you see this m will cancel this m. This y cancels this y. We we'll then be left with g at the numerator and z at the denominator, which gives the simplified form of the fraction as g over z. That's all for a. We then go for b. For b, we have 14 mv squared over 21 m squared v. We start with the coefficient first. The coefficient at the numerator is 14, while the coefficient at the denominator is 21. So they have common factor. So the common factor is 7. So we say 21 divided by 7 to give us 3, and 14 divided by 7 to give us 2. So we know m is 1 here, m squared, which is m times n, which means 1m will go with this m will be left with this m in the same way here we have v times v over v this v we go with one of the v's we have here so at the numerator we are left with 2 times v which is 2v and 3 times m at the denominator to give us a 3m and that is all for problem 1 we then go to problem 2. For problem 2, simplify a 18m squared n plus 9m n squared over 6m squared plus 3m n. b uv squared minus u cube over v minus u. So in our solution, we start from a. And for this problem a, we are going to factorize the numerator and the denominator and see what cancels out. So in our factorization, we start with the numerical part, which are the coefficients. So we have 18 here and we have 9 here. The highest common factor of 18 and 9 is 9. So we have 9 because it divides 18 and 9. And also the variables we have m squared n here, we have m n squared. So we can get each of the letters from m n squared n and m n squared. So m is common, also n is common. So we open a bracket, 18 m squared n divided by m n uh, will be left with 2 for the numerical part because 18 divided by 9 is 2. Then m squared divided by m gives m, and n divided by n gives 1. So this is the quotient after dividing 18m squared n by 9mn. Then we have our connector, which is plus 9mn squared divided by 9mn. In that case, 9 will go with 9m, we go with m. So one of the n's will go here with this n so we'll be left with n so we close the bracket we then go to the denominator also at the denominator 3m is common so we have 3m because 3 divides 6 and 3 also and m is here m is here there's no n here so n is not common to both of them so which means 3m is the highest common factor of 6m squared and 3mn. So we open the bracket, 
six m squared divided by three m gives two m and the uh, 3mn divided by 3m will give us a n. So we have the connector plus n. We close the bracket. So from here now you see 3 goes here to give us 1. 3 goes into 9 to give us 3. m goes with this m. So and uh, this is 2m plus n. This is 2m plus n. So they cancel out. So that the numerator we are left with 3n and at the denominator it is 1 so 3n over 1 still gives 3n that's all for problem 2a we go to b for b we have uv squared minus u cube over v minus u first and foremost u is common so we bring out u um u v squared divided by u gives v squared then minus u squared because u cube divided by u will be left with two of the u's so that is u squared then over v minus u so we go ahead to factorize this because this is the difference of two squares so we are going to have it as u into v plus u into v minus u that's how to factorize difference of two squares then we now have a denominator of v minus u so this v minus u will go with v minus u will be left with u into v plus u as our final answer if you like you can expand but it is advisable since you have to simplify you leave it as bracket like this so that's the end of the solution to problem two we then go to problem three for problem three we have two fractions to simplify so we have our solution starting from a um we have four terms at the numerator four terms are the denominator so we group them into two two starting from the numerator we group them into the first two terms what is common if nothing is common there's possibility for us to rearrange until we can group them into two parts that can factor out so a squared minus a p a is common so we have our a so a squared divided by a will give us a, a minus p since a p divided by a gives p that is that for the first part of the numerator then the second part of the numerator we have negative a q plus p q if you look at this now um q is common negative is also common so we have the common factor here as negative q and negative a q divided by negative q gives a then p q this is positive p q divided by negative q will give us minus p so we then go to the denominator starting with the first two so for the first two terms a again is common a is the common factor and we'll be left with a minus p it's similar to what we did here so we are done with that we go to the last part of the denominator which is plus a q minus p q and again q is common this time around it is positive q then into a minus p so from here we go ahead to complete our factorization at both numerator and denominator so at the numerator this is a minus p a minus p we retain a minus p outside the bracket we have a, a. outside the bracket here we have minus q over here this is a minus p a minus p so we have our a minus p outside the bracket is a outside the bracket here is plus 
Q. So you can see now that A minus P goes with A minus P. So that our final answer is A minus Q over A plus Q. So that's the end of solution to 3A. We then go to 3B. For 3B, um, this is difference of two squares again. Because we can write this as w squared minus 3 squared, which will be factorized as w plus 3 into w minus 3 over. So for the denominator, we have w squared plus 5w plus 6. This is a quadratic expression. To factorize this, we pick the constant term, which is positive 6. Look for two factors of it, whose sum will give us the coefficient of w. And we have them as positive 3 and positive 2. So we get our factors from there. That's going to give us w plus 3 into w plus 2. And the w plus 3 here, we cancel the w plus 3. I will be left with w minus 3 over w plus 2. And that is the highest we can simplify. And that's the end of solution to problem 3. We then go to problem 4. For problem 4, we have two expressions to be simplified. So in our solution, we start from A. This is 18m squared minus 50. First and foremost, 2 is common at the numerator. So we bring out 2. 18 divided by 2 gives 9, then m squared, so we have 9m squared minus 25. Then this is over 2 is also common, so we have 2 into 3m squared plus 11m plus 10. Um, now, these two will cancel these two, so we are left with... 9m squared minus 25 at the numerator. Then at the denominator, we are left with 3m squared plus 11m plus 10. This is difference of two squares. We have to factorize it as 3m plus 5. Because the square root of 9m squared is 3m. So the same thing, square root of 25 is 5. So we factorize the numerator as 3m plus 5 into 3m minus 5. Then the factors of this ones are 3m plus 5 into m plus 2. So we then look at what cancels what. So this 3m plus 5 goes with this 3m plus 5. There's nothing that can cancel out here again. Our final answer for 4a is 3m minus 5 over m plus 2. Then we go to b part of the problem. This is difference of two squares for your information. So if you take this one as one entity and take the other one as the other entity. So factorizing the numerator here now, we have x plus y plus z into x plus y minus z. Okay, this plus this, which is this, this minus z, which we have gotten. The same way we do the denominator, that's y plus z plus x into y plus z minus x. So if you rearrange this, you are still going to have x plus y plus z. So which means we have common factor here. So the y plus z plus x will cancel y plus z plus x. So we are left with x plus y minus z over y plus z minus x as the solution to problem 4b. So that's the end of solution to problem 4. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check our website and also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. 
Remember to like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.